Alright, welcome to my Mithril Dragons Legacy Slayer Guide. Um, this will be a low, well, fairly low requirement, um, fairly low gear requirement as well, which is um, what a lot of players do tend to have. Um, obviously, I'm using this low um, level um, gear, but it can be replaced with high level gear if you choose to do so, or if you have it at your means. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the gear that I'm going to be using to take on the Mithril Dragons. We've got the Slayer Helmet, if it's your Slayer task, obviously, um, if you have the Hex Crest and Focus Sight in there for your magic, because that is the method we will be using, because they are weak to Earth spells. So, as far as Cape, you can use the Skill Cape. Um, obviously, these are, you know, Mage Training Arena or Mage Arena God Capes are a lot better. Um, well, they're not they're a lot better, but they are better for magic. So, I would tend to use one if you have one. Um, glory, obviously, low level requirement, or low cash requirement, I should say, um, can be replaced with Fury, or better, if you choose to do so. Um, I'm using level 50 armor, just Batwing, quite simply. Does the job, um, and it's, yeah, not too hard to obtain. Um, we've got the Cull Necromancer's gloves, the Barrier's gloves, I've got Ganodermic boots, which are extremely cheap um, boots for magic, and I've got a beacon ring, which um, is a quest item, I believe, and it gives a point to um, mage bonus. Um, inventory. Um, I do obviously will be using the um, earth spells. I would probably recommend at least 70 magic for wave. Um, I'm going to be using surge because I am 91 magic at the moment. So um, I can you know dispatch them pretty easily. So you're going to want your runes. I've gone with an extreme magic. Obviously can be replaced with a super magic. Um, I've got super edifiers um, which can obviously be replaced with a um, Normal anti-fire, sorry. Um, as far as a weapon goes, I've got a Staff of Light, but you can really replace that with anything. Um, if you have, if you don't have the super anti-fires, I'd probably recommend a anti-fire shield with a wand, um, an abyssal wand, you know, Staff of Light, things like that. Fairly cheap, um, but very good. Um, I would honestly go for a Staff of Light and maybe even just take the extra damage um, using a regular anti-fire. Um, I've got a couple of prayer bots, um, obviously to regenerate or to replenish your prayer points. Um, I brought a couple of food because I do have soul split so I'll be able to get my health back that way. Um, I would recommend a Bunyip Familiar or a Unicorn if you do have them. Um, if not then a Terror Bird um, full of, well not full of food, you probably only need a full inventory of food and that will last you quite a decent amount of time. Uh, I bring a Terror Bird simply because I'll need one to fill my inventory for this Slayer task. Um, anyway means of getting there, you are going to want to have a games necklace. So, if you do not have these ferocious rings from Kurudel's Slay Dungeon, which basically teleport you right there, you are going to want to use your games necklace. Teleport to Barbarian Outpost. Um, obviously, do not have your familiar um, open yet, because it will you will have to dismiss it before you go into this whirlpool. Um, obviously, to get into the whirlpool, you need the Barbarian Training um, I think it's like the level 2 or level 3 or something like that. It's fairly easy to get, and I remember doing it a long, long time ago. Um, and it was a pain in the ass, but, you know, yeah, it has to be done, I guess. So once we're on here, you want to quickly jump in the whirlpool. Um, the uh, barbarian training is over there somewhere, in the hut over there. So, yeah, that's if you haven't done it. So simply jump down, and once you go down here, this is actually the level that the Myth Dragons are on. They're on this level further over here. Um, southeast, but you're going to want to go down these steps, fairly straightforward, walk over here, um, follow this wall along a little bit, and go up this, you know, staircase right here. And that is where the Mithril Dragons will be. Um, of course, you can also use a Fairy Ring over to the uh, west here, if you choose to do so that way. Um, I don't actually have the quest done for that. Um, there it is right there, over near the Water Fiends here. So if you've done that quest, you can. I think you have to repair it first, and then you can actually use it, because it's not one of the uh, default ones. Um, and if you use the Ferocious Ring to teleport to Kuridal, you will be right here where she is. So from here, obviously, you simply just run down. Run up towards the green Brutal Dragons, and try not to kill stuff on your way there. Um, it's not exactly good. But, um... And you just simply run up to the staircase again. Alright, so before you go in, you're going to want to drink your super anti-fire. Probably set your quick prayers, as or curses for me, 
um, to what you want it, so I'll just leave it on salt split, I guess. Um, so dose that up, dose up your extreme mage, make sure that your auto cast is set for your spell, and yeah, simply head up and start fighting. You, well, you would start fighting if there wasn't someone here in your world, because this is a good spot. So I'm going to join you back in one second when I hop worlds, and we'll have a look at this spot. Alright, so I've changed worlds, and we'll head up now, and as you can see, you are going to want to stay out of their uh, melee range, which is about one square, obviously. So once you're out of their melee range, they will obviously hurt you. I mean, if you bring a bind up, you should be alright with a little bit of food in your inventory as well. Um, when I get low, I'm just going to obviously flick on my soul split for a while. You are going to want to try and stay out of the range of this other one over here, which I haven't done so. But if you simply stand over here, it can't actually attack you, so it's quite beneficial. And um, yeah, that's basically it for the guide. You're going to want to just kill between these two. So obviously, once you kill this one, pick up the loot, head over, kill that one, and by the time you finish killing that one, this one will already be spawned again. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, obviously, you don't need the best gear in the world, but um, obviously having better gear is going to, you know, be a lot easier for you. Um, if this guide's helped you guys, please give the video a like rating and um, head over to my Slayer Guide for Legacy playlist and um, check out some more there if you ever need help again with any of your tasks um, and yeah basically I just pick up the dragon bones and bank them and it's a fairly decent task obviously you can potentially get the um, what do you call it dragon full helm so it's pretty beneficial and um, yeah you can make what six mil out of it if you really um, are able to get one so yeah very good task very good experience as well especially for magic people find magic quite hard to train on legacy um, but it is extremely strong, and yeah, goodbye guys.